On the 14th of May, officials from the European Commission Competition DG carried out unannounced inspections of the premises of several companies active in the crude oil, refined oil products and biofuels sectors, including Statoil, BP and Shell. The Commission has concerns that the companies may have colluded in reporting distorted prices to a price reporting agency to manipulate the published prices for a number of oil and biofuel products. Any such behaviour, if established, may amount to violations of European antitrust rules that prohibit cartels and restrictive business practices and abuses of a dominant market position. This Government is deeply concerned by any allegation that prices for consumers could have been artificially or unnecessarily driven up. UK Government and regulators will provide any assistance necessary to the European investigators, and we expect the companies concerned to fully comply with these investigations. However, these investigations are at an early stage, and the Commission has made clear that investigations do not imply guilt. Until the facts are clear, it would be inappropriate to comment further on this investigation. I should also be clear to the House that these investigations are not directly linked into the allegations into market manipulation in the gas markets, which Ofgem and FSA are continuing to review. This Government believes strongly that it is in our mutual interest for motorists and businesses to be confident they are being treated fairly, and that when wholesale costs come down, these reductions are passed on transparent, transparently and without unnecessary delay. That is why we welcome the OFT's decision to look into the market for road fuels in late 2012. <coughs> At that time, the OFT did not receive evidence on the impact on pump prices of potential manipulation of derivatives markets and the accuracy of reported prices of crude and wholesale road fuel that built the case for such an investigation. However, they did set out that they believe such manipulation is possible and encourage market participants to approach the OFT and FSA as appropriate if they had evidence of such practices. In a case such as this, where there are potentially cross-border issues, it is more appropriate for the Commission to lead the investigation. The OFT have and will continue to cooperate fully with the Commission to lead their investigation.